Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's topic, we're going to talk about QB run game and more importantly, enhancing your offense with a QB run game. Now, um, especially in our country, a lot of um, teams will have a, a difference level in QB quality and, and what they can do. Uh, but, you know, for the most part, if you're looking up to find a, a scrambling QB or a dual threat QB, then, you know, you're, you're on you want to a winner, so to speak. But not, not everybody's got that. And, uh, not everybody uh, can do those things and have those athletes available. So what, we, what we're going to talk about today is making the most of what you've got and what you were already and in implementing uh, the QB runs into what you do. Uh, just to give you some more legs. Of course, you want, you want that 11 men covering 11 men and one-on-one -on -one with a QB, so to speak. You know, he's, he's always the odd man out. So if, you, if you've got a QB that can... Uh, you know, manipulate the defense and move the pile and make yards. And it, it, it's all all good. And so today we're going to cover those topics and I've got um, some clips from over the course of the year. We've got a lot of clips today of us running various guys of our QB run game. We've done, we've done it through a lot of things. From my own experience, I've had to do a lot of different um, actions to make results. But um, we'll go through the, uh, the stuff today and we'll talk about what we can and what we can't do. Enhancing your offense with the QB run game. Very simply, what I always I always like to say when we when we talk about running out QB is it's up there. Utilize what you're already doing. So if you're already an outside zone team or and you were a sweep or a toss, uh, then that that's no new blocking. That's cheap in store for you. All you need to do is rep it at practice, where you basically get it, letting the QB keep the football. And run the QB and run the sweep while they hand it up to the running back or tossing it to the running back and running the sweep. The, the blocking for the receivers and the line doesn't change, it's just that the man getting the football or the man running with the football is no different. Now, if you're a counter team and a, and a power team, etc., etc., uh, you utilize that. You, if you can get the body type back there, utilize it. So don't, don't go ahead and make more work for yourselves and more traps for yourselves by utilizing more plays and bringing in more blocking schemes. When you can, you can already use what you already have and manipulate what you already have to make it fit around your personnel. And that's, and that's the key to every offense that we, we, especially in this country, we do. We have to make our offense fit our personnel. So if you want to run the QB, if you've got a QB that that logs to uh, run, then make make what you run already fit the QB type and make it work. Don't go ahead and plug in different things and different and things like that. And if you've got a static QB. You might want to just make up a little wildcat package using the, the stuff that you already use. You don't have to have it, have to have uh, new teaching, new install, new blocking schemes. You don't have to do that. Keep it simple. Get the most out of what you already did. Uh, next point there is uh, what is your QB body type? Now, if you've got that 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 dual threat QB that can you know he can run, he can throw, he's got that whole thing, then you know you're in a very good position. I've been lucky to have that a couple of times. During my 10 years plus coaching in the UK, but we've had a dual threat QB and, and we've taken advantage of that through various guises. Uh, mainly the zone read, because it's so difficult for our defense to cover. And if you've got a QB that, that knows what he's doing and he's fast and, and agile, you can take advantage of that, of the, of the, uh, of the zone read aspect of, the, of our offense quite, quite a lot. Um, again, if your QB is a static, Big body guy and can't move. He's not. He's not running. He's literally a pocket passer. You have to dissect people. Then you have to really get to have a QB run game as, as much so to speak. So you might want to. You might want to bring in um, another athlete and uh, add a add a uh, a wildcat package or whatever. But if your QB is a, a larger, stronger individual, then you might want to do it in you know inside inside the tackle and get vertical with him. You know, like you would if he was a. Uh, a fullback or a running back type deal. Um, my point there at the bottom is uh, remember with running QBs, there is no plan B, especially here, because at best we have one quarterback. At best, sometimes we don't have any. But if we got if we put all our our strings and our bow onto one quarterback, if we be stupid and run that QB up the gut 17 times in a game and he gets injured and that season's over, that's on me as a play caller and me being stupid. When we've got bigger fish to fry long term. So you have to remember that, especially here, or you, you might not already have a QB, and 
where there's no QB, there is no plan B. You have to make things work. So, you know, in our case, it's like, what happens if there's no QB? Because there's no QB and no problem. I've also been in my own situations on several occasions where I've got into a, into a team and the QB has not been there for various reasons. To leave him for college, leave him for work, because it's the UK. You know, no, there's nothing is, is written in stone. Nobody has to be a practice. Nobody has to be a game. We have real life to think of. It's not like um, being in the States where, you know, your, your situation is football and football only. We have other issues at hand and sometimes our guys don't turn up and sometimes people aren't available for games, etc. And not at all. And in some situations, you're so lucky on a QB and then you've got to make, make one, so to speak. When we do that, my first point there is find your athlete. And you identify a group of guys or maybe two guys who you think you can utilize the best at that QB position. Right? Now, when I'm talking about utilize the best, you might not be the greatest throwing QB. You might not be able to throw football five yards. If that's the case, then you have to be able to run him and move the um, move the dynamics of the offense. Because the very the point at the bottom, which I'll speak about a lot, a lot, is we have to find ways to remain competitive regardless of the hand that you're dealt. And that's something that I'd be that I really, really lean on personally when I'm when I'm going to my own uh, jobs and stuff. You have to remain competitive. There's gonna be no excuses, there's gonna be no pity parties. We have to find ways to compete and to win. And so to do that, we have to find our athletes. Now, whether your athlete's a big body guy, whether it's a running back, you're gonna convert to quarterback, whether it's a, a small speedy guy, you're gonna you're gonna revert to uh, QB. Find and identify the guy that you think can, you can run, speak to him, see if he's up for it. Some guys might not want it. Some guys might want to embrace it. But being a QB is hard work and it's a lot of teaching, a lot of learning for them. Mentally, it's not just about taking a football and running with it. They're going to know, know a lot of stuff. Um, so you have to be, they have to be prepared to take it on board. And you have to be prepared to put that work in with them, even more so than the QB that knows what he's doing. And then my next point there is give an athlete the ball. And I've said before, Find the best way to give your athlete that you've chosen to do it. If you've got a big body guy, you want him to go vertical. You don't want him to go horizontal. If you've got a small speedy receiver that is super fast and you put him back there, then you can you can mix it up. You can zone read it and you can just have QB runs to the outside. Whether you're, whether you're sweeping it or whether you're doing whatever you want to do with your, your um, play calls. But utilize the players that you already have. And then when, when you're doing that, and my third point on this one, is you make your QB runs confident in the offense. As I've just pointed out, don't have any new teaching, so to speak. You want it to be simple enough that we can take it on board, run that quarterback, but then the QB can also hand hand off and you know make a simple keep sure, make a simple slant over the course of time. Make it work, make it fit. And then the final point on this one is to have answers. So you know that if you're going to have a running QB and the team has on a film on you, right? You have to have answers to make it work. And that could be through multiple formations, have an, em have an empty set. It could be through motions or motioning and then running the QB off of it. You have to have an answer that but when they fill that box, because once they realize that you your QB is a runner, they will stack the box. So you have to find ways to keep them honest, to keep them open and respect what you're doing so you can still get your work in. Because at the end of the day, and I've already said once, we have to find ways to remain competitive regardless the hand that we're dealt and that is the most important aspect of our of our offense and how we, and how, we how we attack it every single season every single season is different every single year the personnel changes every single year guys leave and guys come in and, and guys who are a heavy veteran one year you may come into a, into a season where you've got two or bit two veterans your online might be all rookies etc etc things change parameters change every single year the continuity in the in the British game is very very low, very very slim. Okay, we'll uh, we'll move on. And normally at this point, I will get that on the whiteboard and I will draw up our various plays and what I think would work during uh, what we run. However, because it changes yearly, I'm basically I'm basically going to jump into clips. And we'll talk about what we did that year and, and uh, how it worked for us and what we did to attach it. Okay, so 
no, no work for today. I'm just going to go right into clips. Uh, we've got probably about 20 lined up for that over the course of time. Hopefully you can um, enjoy them and, and see that how, how we attack stuff and do what we do. So uh, we will jump right into it. Okay. Um, 2019, our quarterback in, game, in this game and the quarterback for the majority of this season was a converted wide receiver. It was a converted Z. Okay. So he's fast, slim, athletic. We find ways to keep him engaged in the run in, in the run game and give us legs and give us yardage by two ways. Two ways first we, we run him to the outside and we run him on the zone read. Okay? You'll see Kips of us doing that with this one. In this case, we're in the, we're in, the, in, a, in an exotic formation. Okay, so we're trying to we try to cover up what we do with an exotic formation, but this is literally sweep or toss left. Okay, so it doesn't matter what we what our what our, our look is, it's toss left. So if our back was back there and it was a sweep or a toss, our QB would have to just toss it through and we would run the toss play. Our receivers should block their man to man, and we, we expect our back to beat that guy in the black lead one on one. That's that's our goal. So in this situation, the same thing for employees for us. You know, we want our QB to beat that guy in the black lead. That's that's his only um his only uh, issue. He's the guy that. Because they're manning up, he's the guy that's going to probably take the QB if he doesn't go with the with the motion though, which he probably won't. He'll be responsible for the QB. So our job is to get to the outside and then um, hit the corner and take it into the end zone. So we, we're going to motion our running back across. They don't go, so we know it's man. And all we all we've got is our, our QB running into space, using his legs and getting in. Nothing. Spectacular looking, it's not a 70 yard run, nothing major to, to look at, but it's effective and it worked for us. Now, in this case, our, our receivers didn't do a heck of a good job of blocking because they didn't block at all. For some reason, they thought this was a pass play. And another issue with, with the UK game is that we often get uh, calls wrong and, and mixed up. It's part and parcel of the game, and we have to take that on, on the chin and we run the best we can to do it on film and try to keep it clean and error free as possible. It doesn't always work in real life. We motion him. Our 11 engages. You can see 23 does engage eventually. And we lock up. Uh, that 23 does a great job. And he's the guy that springs the TD. Uh, Z is running a, a slant. But luckily there, guy goes with him. Creates that space. And you can see that we've got our fast, our fast guy. Just falling into the end zone. No new teaching. Nothing to learn. It's just reps in practice. And you, so you, you, you pull aside five or ten minutes per practice. Or you work on your QB. QB run game with the QB coach and your QBs and your running back, etc. Okay, next clip. It's, it's the very same game. And this is when we talk about different types of QB and different types of, uh, of what they can do. This is not a cold run at all, but this is a, just a converted wide receiver. No one is third down, trying to make a play. Okay. You can see that the pressure's coming. He just rolls out and takes it away. And that's one of the things that we don't teach as, as a as coaches, we just let the players be an athlete. You know, the, we saw there that he didn't, that he saw the pressure, he just rolled and ran. And got us the first down, moved the chains, and we like to give our athletes the football as much as possible. And telling you that an athlete with ball in hand is a win for us, nine times out of ten. We'll watch it back. It's not a cold run. It's not planned. It's that he feels the pressure. Doesn't like it. He rolls out, and once he rolls out, he sees that they're all they're all vacated following the the, the pass the the receiver on the route. So all does he keeps the football, takes it up and gains 15, 20 yards, and make a first down. I don't like the way he went into the contact there. I don't want to see. I don't want to see my smaller, fragile and QBs taking a hit like that when they could have just slid. That would have been something that we would have called up on the time. But again, just a, an example. I've got a couple of examples over the course of the tips of scrambling QBs and. Even if it's not an actual scrambling QB, a scrambling athlete, it's sometimes a win for you. And you can, that, those, these are non, these are non-teachable, non-coachable moments, but we appreciate them when they come. That's just a, a guy being athletic and using his legs to get us the first down, and we love that. Next clip. Double sound game. Okay, we're in the red zone now, and because because we are a multiple team. So this ball, we are a multiple offense. We're in the red zone. We're looking to punch this ball in. So we may have run this football two or three times already down here. But just like the first, the, the early earlier clip, 
We're now in a different formation. We're in a run back heavy set. Two back is what we would call king. Okay, you can see the space to the left. But there's a lot of grass. So we're going to look to attack that grass or just run a simple QE through to the left. So still saying blocking for the line, still saying blocking for the receivers if possible. And but now we now we need a block or a seal block from our, our, our full back and our half back to make sure that our QB just walks into the end zone. No new teaching, no new uh, stuff to install. Just repping for 10 minutes, QB runs with your guys once a week, etc. Especially when you know they're going to be in the game plan for that week. Put it into your practice plan. It's worth the time and energy. You'll see this here. You're going to toss it through. You just take a step back and then you just sprint out. Literally, just is a jet or a sweep to the sideline. You can see our fullback is not fast enough to engage their DB or their linebacker, but our running back does a great job of locking up. Forces him wide and our QB does just fall into the end zone at his leisure. Look, closer than it should have been, granted, but that's because our, our, our fullback didn't get his block, didn't steal the edge. But the principle of the play works, and it, and on paper it works, and on film it works. Again, the everything you see is clean and lovely. It's not NFL highlights, but what we like about it is it, we're making it work for us at a level that we compete at. Very simple, sweep or toss left, just with the QB. He doesn't, he doesn't hand it off, he keeps it, or all of it. No new teaching, no new learning, cheap install. Okay, different game, same quarterback. 2019, this guy started probably about eight games, he did get injured. Um, because he got sacked a lot, because our, 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 our line was literally two two veterans and three rookies, and we basically got, uh, you know, exposed on several occasions, and our QB got put in some situations, which happens when, you, when, you, when you're getting um, their feet wet. It's going to happen. When we're, what for me, how we, how we teach is, it doesn't matter whether we're running uh, zone or dive, when we're in trips, I want our quarterback to read that M man every time. So that so our line will still block uh, dive or ISO, but our QB has the option to pull it if he sees them crashing down. Because once you start running dive, they're going to start crashing down because they know we're going short yardage. So when, when we're in two by two, it's more difficult because there's more men on the apex. When we're, when we're in three by one, we've got a lot of grass to work in here. So our QB can't and we, he's allowed to pull it. This is just me personally. And then we attack it. He's allowed to pull it. And... Use, use and create the space that he's it, it, going to make by uh, letting them all jump in on the, on the diving floor, but uh, running back. Okay, so we'll watch it here. You can see our uh, QB pulls it. Their guy takes one one step in. Once that guy takes that one step, he's committed. We actually don't get in there. We actually get fired at the two or three yard line, which is unfortunate. But we'll go back. Simple zone read type style. It's, for me, we still call it zone read, but he's reading the end man. Okay, the the, uh, the tackle's not leaving him on on on, um, on dive, but you can see that, that their guy he takes two steps in. This guy takes two steps in. As once that guy's taking two steps in, our running back has got the edge on him. I mean, sorry, our quarterback has got the edge on him. Once our quarterback's got the edge on him, he can then make plays. He's never going to get it because our QB is fast. I mean, he just falls short of the end zone. But the, the the principle of the play is there, and what we like about it is that. Our QB has listened to what we're teaching him, took advantage of it. He's not afraid to have a go with his legs. We've got numbers to the outside on this player because it's going to be 2v2 at best. Our, our, our extra team is going to send, send their guy away. So we're literally going to have the linebacker who's going to cover the QB 1v1 in a, in a matchup. And we like our, our fast agile guys 1v1. Um, if I was if we would have blocked there, we would have scored anyway. But we, we take it down and we score the next play. But again, no new teaching. It's, it's just don't read, we just, we just give it, giving it a different look and a different um, a different layout. But there's no new teaching to it. But in this case, you can see we you can see that we we are using our QB's skill set and our QB's body type to our advantage. Okay. Again, this is exactly the same play. Different period of time of the game, but we're in trips again. So when we're in trips, our QB has the green light to read that end guy every single time. At this point also, the guy in the in the dark running back 
He's a full, he's a linebacker who has to play offense because we, we, we actually are running back in this and we have no running backs. And that's another brick ball experience that you, you might not be aware that happens quite a lot. But uh, our running back here is a linebacker and not an actual running back. You can see. He pulls it. And our tackle just destroys their, their end. I mean, just destroys it. And that phase up, phase up our QB. He just waltzes in. So watch it again. The QB has the right to pull. If he feels it, he sees them blitzing. He knows they're going to try to fill, fill the hole. So he pulls it. The back is static. We get a hand on him, but our tackle just destroyed his guy. That's what makes the space. It creates the space. We like our we like our fastest receiver. If you know me and my offenses, I like my two fast receivers, at X and Z. So we want we've got fast guys there. So if you're converting an X or a Z in my in, in my offense to a QB, he's going to be fast and agile. You can see he just waltzes into the end zone. An excellent job of of uh, you know utilizing what what he has the best of his ability. No no teaching, it's just no read. He's allowed to keep it on the on the trips version of, of, of dive. If it was two by two, we got bubbles attached, so it's not as easy. But in the trips version, he's allowed to keep it. If he wins the M man, he's allowed to keep it. It's a little wrinkle that we added that we got legs out of and we kept it. Because at the end of the day, he's a convertible receiver. You know, our passing game could be erratic and we need to be able to move the football. Again, as I said before, you know, staying competitive despite the hand you dealt or regardless of the hand you dealt, be competitive. Don't make excuses. Find ways to succeed and find ways to move the football. And that's what we always strive for. Two more from 2019. This is our final game of the season. Again, now this is another situation we were in. The QB right now, the short guy, was our H, Y, Z. He was our basically athlete. He played kick returner, everything. So he's basically a short, fast guy who, at, at the midway point of the season, wanted, wanted to learn QB. Jumped on board, came into all the meetings, you know, le learned as he went along, got a few reps here and there, a few game reps, mainly practice reps, had to play in game 10 to make, in our, in our final game to, to make the playoffs because our QB got destroyed the previous week. So he started, this is the only game he started, I think he ran for 150 yards. A lot of it was him be, just being an athlete and scrambling, but there were also design run plays and also plays like this where, where he's running his own way. That's that thing. Okay? Again, we're in trips. So when we're in trips, he can read the M man every single time. That's the deal we give them. That's the deal breaker we, we tell them. You can always do that M man. You can see, he keeps it. He's just a speed demon. Get outside and make a first down. Nobody crashes in on this play. So he basically kept this because he wants to make a play himself. But because he really, because they give him the green light in trips, He's allowed to do it. So he will just say, I read that in man. And then we'll see it on film. You can see that our, our guy gets him. And because he takes a step in, we've we've got a we've never got an alleyway to run into. And that that their fat linebacker uh, that fat then is not going to catch our quarterback. It's, it's very simple. So you've got an athlete back there in space. We're gonna we're gonna win most most matches most weeks. What time see we fight we fake it? Simple as only. Last one for 2019, and then we'll go, we'll go back farther down the, down the road from our, our, our previous seasons. Okay, so that, that, that's going to be the last of that one for this. For this, this, uh, this. So we'll just change it up. Okay. And we'll talk about how we've run it through the years. Okay. We're, we're, in, we're in 2015 now. This is one of my the dual tech QBs we had at the time. Fantastic quarterback, smart, savvy, could read the defense, but also had, had legs and was deceptively sneaky and deceptively fast. Uh, we, when we, when we know we've got a running quarterback, 
a legitimate running quarterback. We 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 do run option a lot within our our run game to let the QB keep it or or whatever uh, or or give it, and so we're giving them the option to hit the football as much as they want to do it. Okay, and it all depends on the QB and what he's doing, but that's what we try and do. right now we're running triple option we're faking that inside zone with our with our r and our qb and our running back in the pro formation is going to run the option to the back side they all crash in on him but he, he doesn't pitch it. he could pitch it but he wants to score himself and he takes it in himself so we watch it again we're in pro the, the r is going to take the football he pulls it they all crash in on him and then we keep our relationship with him but he's a very deceptive runner we take that first down and we score a touchdown off of it. Simple option play, simple triple option. Something that's built into our offense every season and we, we utilize more and more, giving the opportunity to run it. Again, this is another example of just being a scrambling quarterback and how we how we help to offense. You see there, we, we drop back to pass. There's nothing on. He's deceptively fast. They can't cover him. We just take it to the end zone. Nice, simple, easy touchdown. Because our QB is athletic. And we've got an athletic guy there. And you can't coach that and you can't teach that. That's just a guy, an athlete, making a play. But I like to see and I like to add the tip into it. Because you know what? That's all on him and, and, and credit to him. Again, another. 2016 now, different QB, same thing, we read, don't read. We're running two by two, our, our backside runs, runs the bubble. You can see that both guys bite down on the running back. I'm not sure what 93 or 90, whatever he's doing, but he's so far out that our QB just keep, keeps the ball to the football and just darts in between the two and makes a nice, easy. Uh, Vertical run. We like vertical runs as QBs. That's going going uh, forward fast. You can see that they, they both crash down. We leave him. We're left to leave because he's down read. They bite in on the back, and our QB just takes it, gets vertical, and takes it in for a, a ten yard touchdown. They bite on the running back. He keeps it. Go blocking their field. Simple score, we'll take it. Okay, again, we, we saw a triple option a couple of tips back. This is throw a triple option again this from, from our, our king formation. So our, our fullback will run the dive, and our quarterback and our halfback will run the option off of it. You can see we, we pulled the ball there because they crashed down. And, um, Great coach boy here is, and this it, 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 when the QB can pitch, he should pitch because this point, this at this play here, got our QB injured for three, three and a half games, and we almost missed the playoffs in the season because we had no QB and we had to make things work. Um, when he could have handed it off, but he was he was determined to score a touchdown, and in the end, it was detrimental to us as a team. But you know, he could have handed, he could have pitched it off, but he didn't. It's, it's a great fight, it's a great play. He wanted to score, I can't knock him for that, but. We don't want our QB second like that when he could have pitched it and our, and our running back could have walked in. We'll watch it one more time through. There you go. Back the fallback door, they crash in and we just run the option backside. Very simple, but very effective. Okay, and this is a game after or one and a half games after when we have no QB and right now in this clip, we've got a linebacker we did a little bit of fullback, uh, fullback in his spare time. A linebacker, they're playing running back, and he came in as a wildcat QB in the red zone. And all we're looking to do is get him into the end zone with the with the run scheme that we already have. We're not looking to um, create anything new. So all we're going to do on the snap is basically let him run off tackle. You know, follow the follow the running back and lead. He didn't quite get into the end zone, but it's just a great. He actually throws a touchdown on, on the next play, but it, it's a great example of um, just utilizing what you have to make it work. 
all we run on this plate is a simple running back lead. And I, 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 QB, we just follow the running back. He does, he does a great job of it. We just, we're just a little bit unlucky with all the yards short. But I wanted to add this clip in because I just want to show you that you can do it regardless of what you put back there and utilizing the, the run schemes and the run blocking that you already have. Don't create new stuff and create new headaches for yourself and more teaching and more learning and more, and more practice to take it away from other players. Use what you have, just envelop it in what you do. Okay, so there's 17 now. So there's 17 now. We are going to be um, running straight up, sweep again, as we, as we did in 19. That is, this is the QB that came back from injury uh, from that last one. He came back in time for the playoffs. And we are literally just going to run him on um, a QB sweep. Again, you saw the you saw the clip earlier from the Revolution Tournament 19. Where we ran the clip, we ran the sweep with our um, with our QB there in, in a couple of looks, and one of those looks was that was like our queen version. This is the king version, uh, and we just going to take the foot, take the football to QB, and just run to the outside and have our two backers lead for us. So if if this was just, just a toss to our running back, it was still with the same play. Our QB would just toss the ball, toss the ball to our running back, and our running back would follow the fullback to the outside. In this case. Our QB is just going to follow, hit the ball and follow our two, two, our two running backs. Hopefully that extra body gives us, gives us an extra line of blocking. No new teaching, no new plays. Just a simple addition to your, to your plate. Now, we don't, we don't get in here. They, they uh, call us a, a little bit short. But you can see that the play design is very simple. Nothing new, just an outside, outside run. Okay. Then we're literally just going to go ahead and block. Cut from our running back, cut from our fullback. And we end up being just a little bit shy. But the, the principles are there, and we, we show, we're trying to show you ways of using your QB with the run, the run players you already have. So we didn't have a counter in at this point. We didn't have power in. It didn't suit our players. It didn't suit our personnel. So we, we wouldn't add it just to just have our QB run it uh, for two, two times a game. It's, it's no point. It's, it's detrimental to me as a coach. Okay, same game. Another clip of the, the exact same play earlier in the earlier in the game. Yet again, you can see we're in the, we're in our, our king formation, and the principle to apply again. We're just going to run to the outside in a sweet play. Our keeper is going to follow our two our two backs. You can see that we we end up short by a yard again for the second time in the game, and we punch it in the next play. But the principles of the of the play are alive and and. There's no new teaching. I'll keep it here. There's no new teaching. We're finding ways to be competitive regardless of what the personnel we have and the players that we have. We're going to utilize what we have to make the best of it. And that's how we attack everything we do. Okay, we're going to go back farther now. This is 2013. In this situation, our quarterback, our quarterback now is the converted Y. And I can vote, I can vote boy, he's a big body guy. And in this situation, we don't want a, a bigger body guy running to the sideline. We want our bigger body guy to get vertical. Okay? So we fit around our office what we can do. At this point in time, we had a very, very big, strong uh, veteran laid in our line that we could run. We did run power and we did run counter from our running back spot and, and multiple uh, back stuff. So we were comfortable already running that, that power and the counter. It was nothing new for us. All we all we would do in this situation, it was was basically have the QB run power. And we would complement it by having motions and having empty formations to spread them out and keep them honest. If you keep them honest and they have to honor everything, we like the we like the matchups that I could create for our, our athlete with the ball in hand. And the and your version of athlete depends on the play you've got back there, but they're all athletes in their own way. And they all achieve the things that they want to in their own way, and that's it. and that's how we do it. So in this case, we are literally just going to run, going to run power. You can see our our, our guards are going to pull. We we um we window dressed it with a jet, which we probably already we've already ruined the game. But we window dressed it with a jet. Okay, then you can see we've got our our running back foot fit in the hole. And we've got our um our 
guard pulling and stealing, taking the, taking the lead. And then we've just got our QB being an athlete. And because he's already an athlete, he's already our playmaker at Y. You know how I feel about playmakers at Y. He's already our playmaker at Y. He's going to be good with the ball in hand. He's going to be good with the ball in hand. Watch it again. They have to run the they have to run the jet. They bite down on the jet. Our guards pull him because he's because he's power. We've got a lead blocker from our running back. He doesn't get anyone, but then we've just got our athlete in space being an athlete. And we pick up a huge chunk of yards. And it's a, it's a first down run. Again, you can see the difference in styles of QB runs and the difference in styles of QB plays. If you've got an athlete that can do all of this, that can run outside and run inside, that's what the holy grail of QBs, you know, but we, we're rarely going to find those QBs, so we have to do what we get, what we do to make these things fit. A couple more clips for you. Okay, go back 10 seconds. You can see in this situation, we are now in two by two. We are going to run QB power with the with the running back lead. Now, a little running back is going to go ahead and make a block. You can see here, look, we, we do run the power. Our, our guard doesn't pull it fast enough, but our, our little running back goes ahead and gets a helmet on this guy right here. And our running back, our QB follows him. And we turn in the field and they get close to the red zone. You can see how things change depending on personnel and how you attack it with the personnel you have. Use the, use the blocking schemes you already have with the personnel that you can use it with. So make the, if you have a, a character and a power uh, blocking scheme, make sure you put a body top back there that can use load. If, you have not, if you're not running that and you're running outside down, etc. Use the, the, the blocking skills that you have and, and the skills that go that you have. Great run. Great after all of all. Okay, another one. You can see we're in five wide. We're trying to give ourselves a chance to run this football and, and, and keep them honest and make them, make them honor every aspect of the game. Is we are we are running power again. And this is just an athlete making a play. So we our teammates are gonna kick the football. Our, our guard's gonna pull. He's gonna follow his blocker and we lean and we get 10 yards on third and ten. Again, we ran we ran power and counter a bunch in this season. So when we do that, we um you know, it's simple teaching for us. We just we just gonna we just gonna take the running back out or move the running back and have our QB do the running back's job. He takes that, that full step to let the QB uh, to the guard pull, but then he follows him. Simple teaching, keeping through, getting the athlete ball in hand. We have no QB in this season. We're converting a wide receiver. So how do we make the, make it count by letting him use his legs and being an athlete? Okay, same again. Let's go back. Let's go back ten seconds. You can see that we're empty again. We we try to create the space to create and create the lanes by using the formations to our benefit. Again, we pull out. We pull out uh, guard, and we just want our QB to get vertical. What I like about this QB, what I like about what he did, he got vertical fast. No messing about. No anti pansy. He took the football and got vertical, meaning that we were going to get gains every single time he ran the football. And nine times out of ten, they were, you know, large, eight, nine, ten double-digit gains. Vertical, aggressive, with a passion. He he ran like that as a as a receiver, and that's how you that's how he ran as a quarterback, and that's what you like. So we we literally running running power, but with the QB instead of the running back, he's using what he, he's using what he does, and that's what he does best. Pick up nine, ten yards and help us move the chains. And that's what we like. I think guys, that's all the clips for today. Um just hopefully something that you can you can take on board and see how how we've manipulated our own our own offensive systems to fit the running plays uh, and fit the, the running QBs that we have uh, had uh, to use at our advantage and uh, to use at our discretion. Um hopefully something you, you've enjoyed. Uh, but for today, guys, as always, I appreciate you jumping on and taking a watch, taking a listen. I'll see you all again uh, very soon. Take care.